Hello again, students. This is Miss Dalton. I'll be teaching you today. Uh, we've got a few more Algebra 2 teachers getting in on the videos, so uh, we're going to introduce ourselves. So this is Miss Dalton. Today we're going to solve log equations. Now you've already looked at how to convert from log to exponent and exponent to log. You've expanded logs. You've condensed logs. Now we're going to use a little bit of all of that in order to solve a log. So there's a few steps that we're going to follow. The very first step is that you're going to make sure that the log has been condensed. So it's been condensed to a single log. Step one. Okay, step two, you're going to use the swirl method. to get in exponential form. Okay, and last but not least, I call this last step kind of a cleanup step. You're going to simplify and solve. All right, so let's use this, um, these three steps. And let's work some examples. Let's look at step example one. It says log base two of x over two equals three. So if you notice, we've already got it in a single log, so we're going to move on to step two. This says to swirl. So if you remember, you always start with your base two. We're going to raise it up to the third power. We're going to turn around, pick up our equal sign. And then we're going to set it equal to x over 2. All right, so let's simplify, clean it up. 2 to the third power is 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. And that equals x divided by 2. Well, in order to get rid of a division, you're going to do the opposite, which is multiply both sides. We're multiplying both sides by 2 so that we can get x by itself. And I'm going to write it over here. So x equals 2 times 8, which is 16. Now, if you want to check your answer, you can always plug it back in for x right here. And when you plug it in, you should be able to get a correct log. All right, so let's move on to example 2. In example 2, log base 4 of 3x minus 2 equals 1. It is a single log, so we're going to swirl. We've got 4 to the first power. We're going to pick up our equal sign, and it's going to be equal to all of this right here, 3x minus 2. Okay, let's clean up, simplify, and solve. 4 to the first power is 4, and that equals 3x minus 2. You can add 2 to both sides. It's going to make it cancel here. And here you have 6 equals 3x. So if you divide both sides by 3, you get that x equals 2. Okay, in example three, it is already in a single log. Now, some of y'all might be asking about this three that is out front, and we can condense that into that becoming the exponent, but it's also considered to be three times this log. So in order to get rid of that three, let's just divide both sides by three. And then we won't have to worry about it because this will cancel and we'll have log base 27 of x plus 1, but now it's going to be equal to 2 over 3, 2 thirds. All right, now let's go ahead and swirl. We've got 27 to the 2 thirds power. Oops. And that's going to be equal to that whole thing x plus 1. Okay, you can do 27 to the 2 thirds power on your calculator 
and you'll see that it's 9, so you'll have 9 equals x plus 1. When you subtract 1 from both sides, you get that x equals 8. Now don't forget, if you want to check your answer, you can always plug it back into the equation for x and see if it makes sense. Okay, moving on to number 4. If you want to pause the video and try this one on your own, you can. And then just press play when you're ready to go. But I'm going to go ahead and work this out. First of all, we need to condense because it's not in a single log. We have two logs here. And if you notice that both logs have a base of 3, and so that means that we can condense it into one log base 3. So the first thing I'm going to do is write down log base 3. Now, because we have a minus sign here, <clears throat> then that means that this second part is going to go in the denominator. So we have an x plus 1 in the numerator and x minus 1 in the denominator, and that's equal to 2. Alright, so now that we have it as a single log, let's go ahead and swirl. So we're going to have 3 to the second power, and that equals this whole thing right here. So we've got x plus 1 over x minus 1. Okay, so we're going to have 9, and that equals x plus 1 over x minus 1. So I'm running out of room, so I'm going to move it up over here. Now this is the same thing as two fractions, 9 over 1 equals x plus 1 over x minus 1. And if you remember, when you have two fractions that are set equal to each other, we can cross multiply. So I'm going to take this 9 and I'm going to multiply it by the x minus 1. So I'm going to write that up here. 9 times x minus 1 and you set it equal to the other multiple, which would be 1 times x plus 1. Okay, so let's go ahead and clean it up a little bit. 9, we need to distribute. So we have 9x minus 9 <clears throat> equals, this 1 is going to be times x plus 1. That's just going to give us x plus 1. Now go ahead and get your x's together, your numbers together, and solve. So let's bring this x over to the other side by subtracting it. We get 8x minus 9 equals 1. So we need to add 9 to the other side to get this to cancel. So we have 8x equals 10. Divide both sides by 8. and you get x equals 10 over 8. Now, both of these numbers can be divided by 2. 2 goes into 10 five times, and 2 goes into 8 four times. So the simplified fraction is this right here, 5 over 4. All right, last but not least, we have number 5. Again, if you want to pause the video, try it on your own, and then just replay it when you're ready to go. Okay, so first thing that I notice is I've got the logs and they're on opposite sides of the equal sign, which means I need to move one of them over to the other side so that I can condense it. So let's take this one that's on the right and let's move it over to the other side. And since it's positive on the right side, when I move it over, it becomes minus. So let me rewrite what I'm going to have on the left side, just right over here where I have more room. So I'm going to have log base 4 of 3y minus 4. When I move this over, it becomes a minus log base 4 of y plus 6 and it's equal to the negative 1 because this is gone now that I moved it over. 
Okay, so we've got two logs. They are both to the base of four. And so let's condense it into a single log. Again, we have a minus sign here, which means we've got a single log. This is going to be on the top. So 3y minus 4. And on the bottom, I'm going to have y plus 6. And that equals negative 1. It's a single log. So let's go ahead and swirl. 4 to the negative 1 power equals this whole thing. 3y minus 4 over y plus 6. Alright, let's keep in mind what 4 to the negative 1 power is. If you remember the negative exponent, that's going to tell you to move it to the bottom. <clears throat> on the top right now, so when I move it to the bottom, I'm going to write it over here, it's not going to be 4 anymore, it's going to be 1 over 4 to the first power, which is just 4. And then it's equal to this, 3y minus 4 over y plus 6. Alright, so let's cross multiply. 1 times y plus 6, that's just y plus 6 equals 4 times this to save room. Let's go ahead and distribute it. So that would be 12y minus 16. Okay, let's get our y's together and let's clean it up and solve it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move the minus y over here to the right. And I'm going to add the 16 to the left trying to save a little bit of room because I'm running out of room. 16 plus 6 is 22 and that equals 12y minus y is 11y. So I hope you can see that when you divide both sides by 11 you're gonna get that y equals 2. Here is my final answer and that was a really long problem was running out of room, so I tried to make it work. I hope you were able to get it. Uh, <clears throat> again, this is, you know, this is a little challenging, but when you come to class tomorrow, you'll at least be introduced to it, and we can go from there. So I hope you understood it well. Please uh, submit your WISC form and fill out any questions that you have on there as well so that we know where to begin when you come to class. We'll see you tomorrow.